Okay, so you wrote down the objective. Uh, at the top it says make sure you finish yesterday's quiz. That's the first priority. Um, so I did grade goal setting, one in one step, two step, multi-step, combining light terms, and distribution. Okay. So if any of those are not done, turn them in. Completed. If you got it back and you need to fix it, you can fix it after today's assignment. Turn it back in. Completed. Okay. And that's the policy on return papers there. So, and everyone wrote their own sentence about what slope is. We already talked about being a rate of change, rise over run, um, M in MX plus B, right? So here we go. So everyone, I guess I should pass out your paper, right? That would be helpful. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Now, you'll notice the, the front side of this page says to plot the two points. So, before we talk about anything, we got to talk about plotting points, right? Everyone looking up here? Not a phone? Nothing else? Okay. So, real quick, whenever you have a ordered pair, is what we call it, it's X comma Y. Okay, did y'all know it's X before Y in an ordered pair? Okay. Now here's what you gotta know. This is this, some people confuse this, but X is which direction? Is it horizontal or is it vertical? Horizontal. X is horizontal, okay? Like a horizon. Okay. So uh, you can kind of draw a little and Y instead of being horizontal is the other one. What's the other one called? Vertical. Okay, up and down. So that's if you know that much, then that you should be able to plot points. So here's the, here's the tricky part, okay? People forget negative signs. I don't want you to forget negative signs, okay? Which way, if X is negative, which way does that go? On that, that side. Left, on the graph, right? If Y is negative, which way does that go? Down. Down. So we cannot mess up the negative. Okay, it literally grasps it in the wrong spot. Okay, so let's be careful with that. All right, so first things first. Let's try number one. Can we plot these two points? Let's try that again. Okay, number one, let's plot these two points. So first point is 5, comma, negative 4. First things first, my origin is right here in the middle. Now, when it says 5, which way do I go? It's positive, so I'm going to the right five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then negative four, it does mean down four, not up, but down four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Put a point there. Five, negative four. Could you plot that point? That's what you want to ask yourself. Okay. Now let's do the next point. Two, comma, one. So which way do I go for a positive 2? Right 2, and then up 1. Put a point there. You plotting that? So everyone's plotting this. 5, negative 4, 2, 1. Now, I was not so clear about this, but we are here coming up three lines. So let me know. Oh yeah, but so yeah, if, if, if a 
you know, I'm thinking, I want to get one. No, 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 I meant not for me, but you want to get your own. straight as you can, draw a line through those two points. Okay. That's okay. I'll try to bring a pencil. There's pencils over there too. All right, here we go. We need to count the rise of a run. Now, at the top, let's go ahead and write down what slope is just to remind ourselves. Okay. So, everyone write this at the top. Slope is equal to rise over run. Ugliest run to spell. Rise. I'm, you're right, I'm writing at like an angled. Let's wait. Look over here. Um, it's probably never happen again. So here's a visual. You ready? When we think of slope, think of it like this. Like, let's say you're chillaxing down here, you know? Like some people do. For some reason, they're on the ground. I don't know why, okay? And then they, like earlier in the day, there's a fire alarm. Well, what do we got to do? We must rise. <laughs> and then we must we run. Must run. <laughs> right? So, we got to rise over run, okay? We must <laughs> run. So, that's your visual metaphor, rise over run. Now, here's the deal. What does rise mean? So, real quick, I want you to write this down. If you're, write this down at the top of your page. Rise means change in y over run is change in x you gotta know okay now here's the deal when, when we're doing rise over run the way you read is the way you do it left to right okay notice you the left point and think, what's my rise, what's my run? Now, this is a weird scenario. If I start at this point, which way am I rising? Everyone, hear me say this. Everyone looking up here. In the back, everybody. Okay, so from this point, from left to right, which way am I rising? Down. down. Now, that sentence should be kind of weird. Rise down, don't make sense. When you have a rise down situation, what kind of number is that? Negative. Negative. Okay, you got to know that. So, let's count this. One, two, three, four, five. Negative five. And then it always runs to the right, kind of like an old school Mario game. How many? Three. So, can you put that rise vertical over that run horizontal as a fraction right here? What kind of slope is that, by the way? Negative slope. If it goes down to the right, negative slope. Okay? Make sense. So I, I showed you number one. Skip to number four. Can you plot? Everybody understand. We're not on two. We're on four. Okay. Can you plot those two points? I'll give you a minute. Plot the two points on four. And then draw a line through them with your ruler. Can you line through it? Okay, it's been a, probably not even a minute, but whatever. So, negative five, negative one. I'm going to start at the origin, zero, zero. Okay, 
Negative 5 is which direction if that's my x? Left. Remember, x is left or right. So left 5 and then negative 1 for the y is which way? Down 1. And then 0, 4. Now, 0, 4, 0 means it doesn't go left or right at all. It stays on that axis. And then 4 goes which way? It's positive, though. Up, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. You got to be real careful about positive, negative directions, okay? It's all good. Uh, just try to fix it. So those are your two points. And then draw a line through them, please. Now my line kind of is terrible. I don't have a ruler, but there it is. Okay, so for this. All right, now. How do I find the slope? What do I count again? Which one do I start at, by the way? The one on the left, okay? I want to count the rise over the run. Now, you, you don't have to use those two points. You can pick any points on the grid, but let's, pick, let's just use those two points. How much does it rise? Five. How much does it run? Are you are those both positive? Up is positive. Right is positive. It is five over five. So whoops. Every time. All right. So five over five. What does that reduce to? One. You can reduce it. Reduce it. All right. I'm going to leave this right here for you. Why don't you throw it down? Okay. Now, there's 10 more for you to do on this side of the page. Before I let you do that, flip it over. I want you to see about tables, okay? What if you have tables? At the very top, can you write the word slope? Equals. Now, we already said slope equals rise over run. And in this case, it's change in y over change in x. Everybody, that little triangle means change. I don't want to write it out. So change in y over change in x. So that very first table, I want you to label x and y. The independent x is on the left. The dependent y is on the right. OK. Now, you might remember this from Algebra 1. Some people call it the bird beak method. Okay, But what you're doing is you're making these little, little marks right here and telling me the difference. What's the difference between 4 and 2? How much did it go up? 2. So write that off to the side. From four to six, what about that one? What about six to eight? Okay, don't do that. So two is my change in y. Okay. Stop. On the left side, these bird beaks, how much is it changing? Is it going up or down and how much? Up 10, which is positive 10. So 10, 20 to 30 is 10. 30 to 40 is 10. Change in x is 10. So when, when you are doing the tables, you first find those bird beaks, and now you can say slope equals, and here's where people goof up. Okay. Some people want to say 10 over 2. Okay. You're thinking left to right. However, at the top, what do we write down? Change in y. Change in that. So this number, this number, 2 over 10 reduces to what? And it does reduce to 1 over 5. Okay? Now, it doesn't matter if the table is sideways. It doesn't matter if you get different numbers. You need to pick the first one and the first one. If it's linear, it'll make your slope. Okay? okay. So, Without further ado, I want to let you plot points on the front, you can find the slope, and then on the back, do it with table. Okay? I want you to work on that, 
it, if slash when you finish, turn it in, and then you can work on any listing or low grade you need to work on. Okay. Everyone else do. All right. Go ahead.